right, a fantastic energy from the audience. So many yes lined up on my screen right now. All right. So, uh, so can we have you? Can you join us? Okay. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, sir. I'm able to very crystal clear hear you guys in the audience. Are you able to hear our uh, co-founder? Okay. Fine. So we get started Thank now. You, everybody, everybody ready? Okay. So uh, as you know. Uh, uh, what we are going to talk about today is uh, the main idea question uh, in RC. Uh, so this is this uh, question is neither too difficult nor too easy, right? So I, I saw that uh, quite a few of you are in middle of preparation. So how many agree? How many agree with me that this is not a very tough question compared to other questions? Right, you agree that it's not as difficult. So the best thing is to, in such question, is uh, 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 the high chances that you will get this. Uh, high chances that uh, uh, you would get this question right. So uh, these are uh, the main idea question, the purpose question. These are not questions that you should miss. Uh, you should definitely get uh, get this correct uh, in the exam. Himanshu says main idea and tone are tough. A uh, tone may be Himanshu, but main idea is not really tough. So with little practice and some uh, little uh, tips and techniques which we are going to discuss today, uh, I'm sure you can master uh, main idea question and uh, you should make sure that main idea purpose uh, you should never miss. Okay, Sweta says it's time consuming. Okay, it's uh, not unless the passage is very long, uh, it's not really time consuming. Anyways, we'll walk through all the, uh, all the uh, techniques your different techniques uh, to ensure that uh, you get your basics right and then uh, you should be able to increase your accuracy in main type questions okay fine let's start okay so these this is what uh, uh, we'll be covering today uh, uh, in this uh, webinar you will understand the main idea uh, understand the concept of main idea in the passage uh, using simple examples uh, you will learn the skills that go into uh, answering this type of question successfully. Then uh, the main idea question comes in four or five different forms. Uh, we will just have a quick look at that, but I'm sure once you look at it, you will know that it's a main idea question. Then most important point four, we will identify which are the what are the typical distractors uh, that come into play in a main idea question, because I'm sure. Uh, uh, this is the most troublesome part in any GRERC question, right? How many of you uh, agree with me? These close choices, right? I think all, everybody, has, uh, somebody calls it decoy. That's correct. So I think, uh, okay, let me ask you a quick question. Uh, how many, when you solve RC questions, uh, how many of you, uh, when you finally, you know, out of five, you shortlist one or two. So most times, do you find that the right answer is always in your shortlist? There may be one distractor, but is the main answer always uh, in the shortlist? Okay. So I think for most most people say that yes, uh, they had it in their shortlist, and then they lose out to the distractor. That is what happens, right? Right? Huh? So so most. Everybody seems to be saying the same thing, uh, whether it's Krishna or Prabhalika, Abhishek, uh, that's what happens. So now we'll carefully uh, look at all these things uh, in this uh, webinar. Okay. So I think these are this is the most these are the only problems in uh, the main idea question, right? The distractors and as somebody said, it's it could be sometimes time consuming, as someone said, if the passage is long. Okay. So let's see. Uh, different techniques in the main idea question okay so let's let's get a let's get uh, so, okay it's not that just a grerc passage has main idea question any written passage uh, a newspaper article or an editorial there will be one main idea or couple of ideas that the author wants to convey so let's let's have a look at uh, a broad idea of uh, of the main idea of what is a, what of what is a main idea of a, any passage, hmm? not necessarily RC. Okay, so uh, so uh, do you agree that a passage, uh, any passage, or let's say even a GRE RC passage, it is nothing but a sequence of ideas? Do you agree? 
uh, it's nothing but a sequence of ideas because these are all uh, all this uh, are nothing but they are serious passages they are not novels or they are not meant for you to entertain so it's not a story so stories have incidents and events but this is this is a scholarly article so it will have a sequence of ideas right and then uh, the ideas could be of two types thesis statements and support ideas okay so uh, i are are you aware of this thesis statements and support ideas which we had covered in the last webinar okay mayank doesn't know anup knows suhasini doesn't know many of you some of you know and some of you don't i think okay so a thesis statement okay let me uh, just uh, briefly tell you what it is for those who missed didn't attend the last one a thesis statement is uh, is either an opinion or a warning or uh, uh, or an idea hmm, which the author uh, which the uh, these are lines which convey either a warning or an opinion or a hypothesis no those are those whereas support ideas are typically the examples or the details that the author provides uh, is it broadly do you get this idea we'll see examples of course a thesis statement is usually the author's opinion or sometimes he may warn about something or he may predict something okay and the support idea is usually examples or it may be details of an observation okay okay let's let's see more as we go along there'll be examples so keep this in mind thesis statements and support idea okay so a pass in any passage uh, if you take any jerry passage which is scholarly usually that it will be a scholarly passage so author will have a main idea and that he will convey through a sequence of thesis statements and along with that some support ideas to justify those thesis statements uh, do you agree usually there will be some thesis statements that is his opinions his views a warning or his key idea or an hypothesis and then he will support it with some examples uh, usually with some examples right so this is how do you visually uh, do you see a rc passage like this do you see it like this as a sequence of well articulated thesis statements supported by excellent uh, examples which justify these thesis statements do you logically see a passage like this right okay so now the most important uh, thing in uh, gre rc for any type of question not just main question is to get a good idea of how do how do i differentiate uh, how do i identify which is a thesis statement and which is a support idea hmm? if you are able to do this is a fundamental skill so uh, going forward whenever you practice rc you as you read Uh, try to mentally ask it should be subconscious subsequently that uh, is this a thesis statement or is it a support idea okay anyway we'll see more uh, in this uh, we'll see examples but keep this in mind keep this uh, model in mind okay this is a uh, fundamental okay now let's let's look at let's look at uh, uh, let us you know uh, just look at points and suppose you had a passage like this on the left hand side here are some thesis statements it says uh, there have been increase in frauds in recent times there is disregard for public code and then there are support ideas the author gives you how road rules are flouted how people bump signals how uh, businesses uh, flout rules uh, how in the public space in land real estate how people you know grab land for construction illegal construction suppose you see a passage like this which has ideas like this okay what it can you in one one statement tell me what is the main idea that the author would like try like, uh, what author wants to convey in this example see these points and in very okay part says unstable government road problems and corruption frauds abhi shek says uh, disregard for rules and law in recent times upala sai says rising crime pushkar says disrespect disrespect for whom pushkar aishwarya says cause of accidents but there is also real estate aishwarya kartikeyan says corruption uh, Ka krishna says fraud in real time kashyap says extortion there is no mention of extortion right these are examples uh, parth says breaching of laws that's correct 
करप्शन मेनी पीपल से करप्शन ओके ना थिंक केयरफुली थिंक अ लिटिल मोर करप्शन या दैट इज ऑल्सो स्पेसिफिक टाइप ऑफ फ्रॉड राइट करप्शन इज ऑल्सो स्पेसिफिक फ्रॉड सो कैन यू थिंक ऑफ मोर जनरल जनरल टर्म विच कैप्चर्स दिस even you know somebody said extortion that is also a specific type of flouting of rules yeah amulya says law breaking yeah that's correct violation of rules surya says yeah illegal activities nitin is saying uh, no fear of government rules sarthi is saying that's right now i think you guys are getting it now miscreants anarchy and all these are specific examples the sonali and niral okay so let's see so the main idea of this is non compliance of law and order is this is this uh, generic and covers all the points on the left side everybody i'm looking for this you know you should be able to generalize uh, what is said here uh, that is the main idea those who said extortion or corruption these are specific examples again okay you want to see shall we see one more example okay let's move on to the next one so this is what i'm trying so these are thesis statements can you now understand what somebody is asking me what's thesis statements do you see this supporting ideas are usually examples and thesis statements are opinions right do you see that okay let's move on to another next example okay here is a thesis statements which says two organizations let's say some company x and another y they are working together and then uh, what do they do they have shared goals uh, they were working for mutual benefits so can you summarize the main idea in uh, one or two or three words okay amulya says partnership nitin chavan got, got gets it perfect collaboration ashika gets perfect partnership provide support to each other what is the one word for that vallabh mahajan providing support to one another surya says teamwork right so somebody says consensus consensus is not the right word uh, anu consensus is when i and you agree it becomes consensus right so uh, somebody says leadership lokesh why is it leadership somebody leading somebody is leadership but when here there's clear idea of two people working together so what is the right word for it uh, sai kumar you are extending it too much you said co branding uh this may be co branding or this is this you know this is like over extension they may sh- okay somebody says symbiosis yeah the good word alliance that's a fantastic word that was uh, dwarak that's good so let's see the answer right the main idea is collaboration cooperation uh alliance synergy all these were the right words so now do you get this uh so this is how you know this is what this is nothing but the uh, main idea uh, so a passage uh, is nothing but there are a lot of lines finally from each line if you are able to get the ideas like this and uh, if you are able to understand which is a thesis idea thesis statement and which are support ideas then if you logically if you are if you put it in front of you like this uh, you will be able to get guess the main uh, main idea do you guys agree with me uh, fundamentally whether you use paper or you do it mentally this is what should happen do you guys agree fine and more you are able to do this mentally it is better uh, suhasini is asking whether it's time consuming uh, yeah see it is uh, it is not time this is mentally this is what should happen as you read uh, these ideas of course there will not be a ppt and you know a paper in front of you if you are able to see these things mentally in your mind these points and mentally able to classify which will happen as you practice it won't happen initially you might need pen pen and paper so but make sure suhasini or all of you uh, write your notes don't write details as you do in a classroom in an engineering college don't do that way write it as sms uh, uh, sms like language sme says they say uh, using short forms which only you will understand initially and as time goes by uh write li- as little as possible and subsequently for short and medium size passage you should do this mentally is it fine Sim- simran simran preet is asking should we take notes yeah as i said uh, take notes but keep use sms like language and uh, as you practice more and more start doing this mentally 
eventually you should not need paper santosh asking can you get my answer uh, santosh i can give you but a lot of people are answering so just flies past uh, parth is asking conclude paragraph in one or two words ha huh, it's not a paragraph concluding the paragraph a paragraph sometimes a whole example will be a paragraph so in that case uh, you could just uh, summarize it in one word or two or three no so it, so basically go after ideas don't go after paragraphs is that fine parth yeah you can write it as example of xyz that's correct okay uh, mudguraj is asking how to spot thesis statements from big passage uh, 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 actually we had a separate webinar for this uh, uh, mudguraj on analytical reading there we had detailed discussion on uh, on uh, uh, how to do analytical reading and how to identify thesis statements hmm, from any passage uh, i suggest that all of you who have missed it a request for the recording and watch it again okay so now let's move on so do you agree with this what from that little experience which we had now with Uh, with concise passages or they are most like ideas drawn from a passage uh, uh the main idea is nothing but the main point which the author wishes to make right so now let us move on we uh, let us move on to actual uh, gre rc passages and let us see uh, how to the techniques on how to arrive at the main idea hmm? so this is the uh, now let's start with uh, let's get into more into uh, the gre style rc passages Okay, so there are three steps uh, in solving a main idea passage. First is to comprehend the passage. Hmm? That is, read the passage, and uh, this is where I I said uh, learn the principles of analytical reading to identify the thesis statements and the supporting ideas. Hmm? It's quite logical, uh, which as we as you saw now, what is a thesis statement and what is a support statement. So, as you read, you should pick this up. You may use paper initially. but as i said try to do this mentally and most of the times it's the thesis statements uh, which will help you in multiple ways one is for the main idea and subsequently you'll find that it's useful for purpose also what is the purpose of the passage that's also related uh, ability to do this uh, uh, reading the passage and identifying as you read which are the thesis statements uh, that will help you greatly in answering many different types of questions in rc now so please uh, spend time and master this skill and you'll get it as you practice more and more rcs initially you might be slow but eventually you will be able to do it mentally okay the second step is logical reasoning uh, once you have understood the passage then you will reason out and decide the right option so this step two we will see in detail now and let me just complete all the three steps the third step is very important it's called self analysis that is at least when you are in the practice phase when you are uh, learning lot of questions practicing lot of rc questions uh, after you finish answering the questions go and see the answer read the explanation and in self analysis phase you learn how to fine tune your reasoning skills so in step 2 you'd have used some reasoning and suppose you get the, got the question incorrect you uh, from the explanations given to you you try to understand where did your reasoning deviate at what point did you deviate and slowly by making careful analysis like this uh, you will definitely fine tune your reasoning and you will also master the art of how to locate the distractors how to identify the distractor choices so next so this is these are tip, the, at a high level these are the three steps okay let's go into the second step now we'll see more details of logical reasoning how do you use logical reasoning to uh, answer a main idea question and after that we will see how to do self analysis so as to fine tune your skills to answer these questions and we will see what are the typical distractors uh, that come into play in main idea question fine everybody shall we move on okay so now let's go and see each of these uh, steps in detail step 1 is covered earlier let's go into log the reasoning part okay so step step one is analytical reading so uh, essentially it's nothing but uh, you identify the thesis statements and the supporting ideas 
and the support statements you can skim through rapidly to save time just to get the essence and it is usually the thesis statements that lead to main idea hmm? so now we'll focus on the second part the reasoning part now once you have got the thesis statements how should you uh, hone on or how should you zero on to the main idea okay so let's get into the most important part the reasoning that is needed to uh, get the main idea hmm? so technique one so there are some passages uh, some passages you will find that the main idea is uh, most of the some passages of course the easy ones in the first two three lines uh, the author will uh, explicitly uh, uh, give away his main ideas the first one two or three lines will in summary will be the main idea of the passage and rest will be the rest will be support of that main idea justification so this this type of uh, if you get this kind of passage you should be very lucky because you should be able to get the answer very easily hmm? of course we'll also see passages in which the main idea is not explicitly told okay but let's have first let's have look at uh, ones where more or less explicitly the author states what is the main idea hmm? okay here is a passage uh, read it uh, read the passage and uh, when you're done uh, let me know take your time to read it uh, varun is asking what is the meaning of candor can somebody answer what is the meaning of candor yeah uh, candor is honest openness to be frank yeah sweta is done reading okay sweta so those who have done reading uh, do you have the main idea in your mind now think of the main idea Anup is done. Okay, so let's move on. Chutspa Narmada is uh, like guts, daring. Okay, so also remember in RC, even if you do not know the meaning of many words, you can guess and move on because the meaning is not that really important. Sweta says, okay, now people are, okay, hold on, let's move on. So is this, uh, is, are these the main points? Uh, are, if you see the passage, uh, does it, uh, and if you were to take notes, would, the, would it map onto something like this? Right, so people uh, holding power, it says, are arrogant, but Einstein was an ex exception. And the rest of the passage, if you see, it just goes and gives examples of how Einstein was very humble. Do you guys agree? So, barring the first line, the whole, all the rest of the lines are support ideas. Do you guys agree? Only the first line is a thesis statement. And the rest of the passage is all support statement. All support examples, right? So, though the passage looks big, so if you were to take notes, you know, even if you were to take notes, you should have only written the first line and rest, you should not have written at all. So it saves time. Somebody was asking me, right, does it take time? Okay. So you need not take notes for support ideas. And you can, in fact, while you're reading, you can skim through the support ideas because there will not be too much, too many ideas out there. Okay. Fine. So, uh, so, so the fact that though many people, I mean, people in power, so what's the main idea here? Do you agree with this? Though most of the people, many people in uh, positions of power are uh, are arrogant. Einstein was an ex was an exception. Do you guys agree? Right, all of you agree. Many of you got this right. So this was simple. Where in the first two lines itself gave you up the main idea. So remember that you know. Remember that. If we go back, uh, remember that. Uh, no, remember that. From here, you know the second line right up to the end. This you should skim through very fast, and this is where you'll save time. Okay, and you need not take notes for for any of these support ideas. Okay, fine. 